In this video, we're going to talk about the SureShot Telemax camera. All right, so before we get started, leave a comment below and let me know whether you plan on getting this camera or you already own it. So I picked this camera up from eBay. Um, I buy and sell, basically flip as a side hustle, uh, vintage, mostly film cameras. And I picked this camera up on eBay and it sold. So I wanna give you guys a quick little look at this camera before I actually ship it off to the buyer. So let's go ahead and do this. First thing we're gonna do here is put batteries in it. Uh, the type of batteries this camera takes is the 123A camera battery. Usually kind of use a little screwdriver just to pop it open. And then you put the battery in, make sure we follow the directions and then close it up like so. You notice that the cover is closed. To turn it on, you actually just flip this forward and you hear it wake up. So up top, you've got your film counter and uh, we're gonna just go ahead and press the button to fire a shot off. Now this camera has, I don't know if it's just the camera I have here or this camera in general. Um, I did a little Google search. It does tend to be loud. Um, not that loud when you have film in it. You'll notice the difference. So right now without film in it, it's extremely loud and actually sounds kind of uh, a little off. But um, listen again. Sounds, you can really hear that cranking sound. Um, I did notice when I put film in it, it does not make that loud sound. So um, it is still a loud camera when the film advances. So we'll do one more shot. Boom. Okay, on the back here, you can actually turn the flash on and off. Obviously right now the flash is off. I'm gonna just go ahead and turn the flash on. And then when I press and hold the button, the light on the back will actually illuminate to let me know that the flash is ready to go. Okay, but let's turn it towards you so I can take a photo. Close your eyes. Boom, got a photo with a flash. Um, you also can change the, this is a tele-zoom, right? So um, right now I have it set up in a wider shot on the side here. If I actually flip the switch, it will zoom in. Fire off another one. Boom, done. All right, once those two things are done, let's go ahead and put it back to a wide shot. Uh, there's also timer mode, as most of these point and shoot cameras have. I'm gonna press and hold that, and then you'll notice the flash actually starts flashing to let you know that we're in selfie mode. So timer's going. Boom. And that is kind of the basic functions of it. Let's go ahead and put film in. I never leave home without my trusty Kroger brand film. Yeah, no, this is a dummy roll. Who knew Kroger has their own film? If you did, leave a comment below. Uh, but this is an old film roll that I just reuse it over and over and over. Uh, one of the obstacles when you're testing cameras a lot and using film, vintage cameras a lot, is that the film will actually disappear into the canister. I have this handy tool that actually removes the film uh, from the canister. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. And there you go. So the film is out of the canister. There's a link in the description below for this tool. Essentially on the side is where you pop it open. Boom. And then drop our film in, and we're gonna feed it across and feed it in our Kroger film. Close it up. You notice it started out a little um, ratchety, and then once the film was in there, it actually stopped making that sound. So for some reason, it's just kind of a loose something or other inside there that makes it sound like that without film. As soon as you put film in it, it doesn't sound like that anymore. Notice we have a one, so we know that the film is ready to uh, go. So let's go ahead and take a photo. I'm gonna turn the flash off to make this happen quicker. And boom, and it moved up. Hard to tell, it goes between one and a four. So right now we went to two. Uh, there is no rewind button anywhere on this camera. I looked over and over and over, I had to again Google it and figure out where the rewind button is. Well, this one actually you have to use up the entire roll and then the film will automatically rewind. So bear with me as we shoot about 24 photos. 24 
shots. There you go. Automatically will rewind. So I don't know if that's cool or not. And there's that ratchety sound again. So you notice without the film, it does have this ratchety sound, but not to worry. The film is rewound. Notice the film is gone inside the canister. I do have my tool that I'm able to remove that. And there you have it. That's pretty much this camera. If you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor. Give it a big thumbs up. Give it a like so that other people can enjoy it as well. And then lastly, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching and uh, enjoy the rest of your day.